F-16s will protect the entire front line in Ukraine, reducing the chances of Russian attacks. The F-16 aircraft, which Ukraine expects to receive in the near future, will not cover any particular area, but will operate along the entire front line, explained military expert Yevgeny Diki. In less than an hour, they cover a distance greater than the length of Ukraine from west to east. It's ridiculous to say that F-16s will protect the skies over any one area. They will protect the skies over Ukraine, over the front line. From the moment the F-16 takes off, it has the possibility of firing missiles at a Russian attack aircraft from any point is less than half an hour, Dickey said on air at the telethon. He also added that F-16 aircraft will not be able to simultaneously cover the skies over Ukraine from all enemy air targets. At the same time, they are capable of causing serious problems to Russian frontline aviation even in small numbers. For starters, at least, the first squadron of 12 aircraft, this will have a very significant impact on the situation. After all, Russia's frontline aviation also does not use all of its aircraft. During one combat mission, from two to one and a half dozen aircraft take part. Our aviation even now performs a very important role. The same storm shadow strikes carried out by our Sioux aircraft. We have all the aircraft. I have no right to name the exact number, but this is less than a full squadron. And even this number has a very significant impact on the combat operations in the Crimea region. Therefore, as soon as we receive at least the first squadron of F-16s with 100km missiles, this will really affect the situation along the entire front line, Dickey added. Earlier, journalists from The Guardian said that Western F-16 fighters would be able to protect Kharkov from Russian bombs. They also told details about the training of Ukrainian pilots. It is noted that it was not easy. Three people were killed and 124 others were injured following Ukrainian missile attack on a port city of Sevastopol in Russian annexed Crimea Peninsula, Russian authorities reported on Sunday. Russian Defense Ministry claimed that air defenses shot down four Ukrainian Atoms missiles, equipped with cluster warheads, used during the attack. The fifth missile changed trajectory after being intercepted, with its warhead exploding in the air over the city. Three people, among them two children, were killed by falling debris after five Ukrainian missiles were downed in Sevastopol, said Mikhail Razvozeev, the city's Moscow-installed governor. Some 124 people were injured in Sevastopol. According to operational data, as a result of the shelling of Sevastopol, 124 people, including 27 children, were injured in varying degrees of severity, Russian Deputy Health Minister Alexei Kuznetsov told reporters in Moscow. Governor Razvozeev said fragments from the downed Ukrainian missiles fell in the coastal parts of the city, namely Uchkuyevka and Lubomivka. In his words, fire occurred in a residential building and forested area in the city due to fallen fragments. Meanwhile, pro-Ukrainian, Krimsky Vita or Crimean Wind Telegram Channel reported, with reference to local residents that Russia did not activate air raid sirens when Ukrainian missiles were downed over the crowded beach in Sevastopol. It stated that the main part debris fell into the sea, while one shell fell on the beach. The Telegram Channel also alleged that residents were not allowed into underground shelters during the attack. Russia's investigative committee announced launching a criminal case into the attack. In a statement today, Russian Defense Ministry stated that the U.S. carries primary responsibility for the attack on civilians in Sevastopol as it supplied Ukraine with these weapons. It claimed that, all flight missions for the American Atoms operational tactical missiles are entered by American specialists based on U.S. satellite reconnaissance data. Ukrainian authorities have not yet commented on the incident or Russia's claims. The attack came a day after a Russian guided bomb strike on the city of Kharkiv hit an apartment building, killing two people and injuring over 50.